you've traveled all over the world and uh, you were traveling a lot for work, as you were saying, when you initially got diagnosed with celiac disease and food allergies. What are your top tips on eating gluten and allergy free during air travel? Um, well, I think the easiest thing to, to think about would be three top tips. One would be, you know, what to eat and what to carry with you when you're traveling to your destination. What do you eat when you're at your destination? And then how do you communicate your gluten-free and allergy-free needs? So if you think about it when you're getting to your destination, um, first, if it's, a, if it's a, longer, um, a longer flight, that you can call the airlines or you can talk to your travel agent and you can ask for specific meals. Um, the airlines have specific codes. So for example, for a gluten-free meal, you would ask for GFML, which is gluten-free meal. Um, for non-lactose meal, it's NLML, which is non-lactose meal. Um, so those are just a couple different examples. As far as for snacks, um, I always, always, always would recommend people to bring snacks with them. And if you're going to be going on a couple hour flight, what I would recommend is that I would, I would recommend that you bring snacks that would hold you for basically two meals because you may run into complications at the airport. Um, you know, your plane may be delayed. And even if you've ordered a meal for, let's say, you know, a four or five hour flight or, you know, overseas flight, um, sometimes, you know, the, the meal that you order isn't gluten free or non lactose free or whatever. So to make sure that you bring the meals and that those, that, that you have, um, if you have any type of liquid, like applesauce, for example, that you have to make sure that that, that is covered within the four ounces um, for TSA. Um, you also have to make sure, as far as for bringing things with you on your, on your destination, is that if you need to have any type of medication, that that is accessible when you're on the plane. Um, if it's for allergic reactions or for anaphylaxis, let's say for um, an EpiPen. Um, when you're at your destination, understanding ingredients and food preparation and what questions to ask the restaurants. Um, and the other thing too is that as far as from, you know, that, that you can always call the hotel and there's some hotels that, that would accommodate um, various special dietary needs. And then the last thing is really communicating your requirements. And if you're in a foreign speaking country, to make sure that um, I always, always, always recommend people bring translation cards with them. So in that way you can give the chef or the waiter your specific uh, dietary needs and that you also bring documentation with you so then that way if you need to have an EpiPen or you know that, that you think that you may run into some issues as far as for bringing packaged food through customs, I've never had that issue, um, is to bring documentation uh, with you from a doctor so in that way then you know that your special dietary needs are going to be met. And lastly really it's it's it takes more planning and doing a little bit more research. Um, there's more and more countries out there that have that understand gluten free and that are understanding food allergies, um, and and it's definitely getting better. Not quite there yet, but almost. 